Okay, so assuming you've got all of the wavy lines that you want, you can go ahead and go over to your move tool and just kind of reposition all these as you want. You know, maybe you can uh, get, them, get them all a little bit closer together or something like that. Just kind of reposition them in a way that you like a little bit better. And I know my lines aren't exactly neat right now, but you know, this is just for demonstration purposes, so no big deal. Okay, so now that we've got all of our lines nice and wavy right now, let's go ahead and make them glow, shall we? So we're going to start off with the first one we made, which is our first G, and we're going to add an effect called Outer Glow. And we're going to click this icon right here, and we want it to be the same color green. So just to make things nice and easy, we're going to go down to the bottom left and I drop this little green color right here. And that should put everything in that we need. And then just go ahead and play with the size a little bit. And I think that should be just fine right there. So as you can see, we just got 75% opacity, the size is 10, and that's all there was to it. So we'll hit OK. And we'll close this up. And we want to put this same exact glow on every single green line. So we'll go ahead and right click the effects icon. And we'll go to copy layer style. And we're going to select every green line, which should be all titled G. And we'll right click and we'll paste that layer style that we just copied. And this should uh, make them all nice and green and glowy. So we'll close those up. And we'll just do the same thing for the blue. Outer glow, click right here. I drop the blue, toy with the size a little bit. Let's see. Oh, okay, here's the line we're looking at right here. And we might want to make it spread a little bit because the blue is a little bit harder to see. But I think that should be. Oh, too much. There we go make that four. Oh wow maybe not okay I guess we're just sticking with a uh, three percent spread alright so when that's good just go ahead and hit OK copy the layer style like we did before and we'll cop uh, paste it over to the other blue lines paste and there you go they're all glowing right on but just for uh, organization's sake, we're just going to close these up, select the top blue layer right here, and then go down the green layer, and we'll hit Control g to make them into a group. Wavy stuff. And, you know, just for kicks, I'll show you guys how to make this, uh, this slanted text right here. It's really easy. We'll just uh, grab our text tool and we're gonna have it be let's see I believe it is the impact font I'm gonna make it black and if you missed that just change this box right here to black by clicking on it and dragging to the bottom left hand corner and so let's go ahead and click and we need to size up the text a little bit that should be alright and this should be an all caps lock. Ch -ch check it. And we'll click and drag it to the center there. So here we go. Ch -ch check it. It's all caps lock and all black. So we'll hit OK. And with your text layer selected, we're going to give this thing a bit of a stroke here. And we're going to make the color white. So just click that icon right there and make it white. And. The three pixel size should be just fine, so we'll just go ahead and hit OK. So there is a thing or two that we're going to have to do to this, one of which is to make it slanted, and the other is to duplicate it and move it up a little bit, maybe give it some blur, and etc. So let's get started. Go ahead and hit Control T to bring up the Transform tool on your text right here. And if you go up here to the where it says H zero degrees, put a number one there to make it 10 degrees and it'll slant it a little bit. 
And that's all we really need to do on that. So we'll just hit the check mark right here. And so the next thing we're going to take care of is duplicating this layer by hitting Control or Command J, depending on whether or not you're on a Mac. And then we'll select our original Chichisheka text, make a new layer, and then Control click the Chichisheka text right here. That way both layers are selected. And we're going to merge them together with Control E or Command E if you're on a Mac. And now that those are merged together, we can go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. And we'll just make the method Wind direction from the right. And we'll hit OK. And you get a little bit of wind on there, but let's make it a little bit more intense by going back to Filter. And then the Wind should be right there. And that should make it a little bit more intense. So let's go ahead and head on to our Move tool and to our duplicated should you check it text right here and we'll just use our arrow keys to move it a little bit up and a little bit to the right and right there looks just fine to me so with that you should be uh, just about done so we'll hit the tab key to hide all the menus and hit control one to zoom to 100 percent just to get a good look at what we're getting here and that looks pretty clean so I think we're done. I'm hoping that all of this made sense to you guys. And don't forget that how you make the lines is completely up to you, like their coloring and how wavy they are. For all I care, they could just be straight lines going across. And, you know, just do anything you want to it. You know, you could uh, go ahead and go back to the one that we put the wind on right here. You can go back to that layer and give it a blur. That could make it a little more interesting. Maybe like a two pixel blur. Yeah, maybe one pixel. Just to make it look like it's a little more fast, a little more blurred. You know, just have fun with this. Make something cool. Make it a video response just to show that you were able to get it and understand it. And if you have any more requests, go ahead and leave them on our channel or send us a message. Or you can email me at brandon at chuchicheka.com. And that's all I have for you guys today. So, peace out. See you next time.